In a previous video we did here on the channel, we built a gaming setup for $75. And in this build, we didn't use an SSD. And the reason being is because of the current situation going on in the world right now, SSDs have gone up in price, at least where I live. And so that would have added to the build costs substantially and we wouldn't have seen any more performance in games. Though what I did do in that video was I did tune up the system and I did it relatively quickly. So what I'm gonna show you guys in today's video is how you can quickly tune up a system, especially if it's an older system, and not only make it more snappy, but also get some quick and easy results that'll net you more FPS in games. If you need to activate Windows, then today's video sponsor SCD Keys has you covered. For as little as 15 US dollars using the coupon code TYCSK, you can get a legit Windows 10 Pro OEM single end user license. Links in the description below. So first things first, if you're on an older Intel computer, that is say for instance, the one we're using here, an i7-860, anywhere up to say an i7-6700, then we need a program called Inspector and we can download this from the website. I'll put the link for that in the description below. And we get this program and then we open it as administrator. And then after that, you'll see the boxes here that have a disable meltdown and also disable Spectre protection. We wanna left click on both these boxes and then click exit and restart our system. And now for the next step, we go down to the search bar in the bottom left hand corner of our screen and we type in services.msc or you can just type in services and it should come up. Now we left click on this and it'll open up a big window. And from here you can either rearrange the services by what I do is I left click the running tab and we wanna find these two services that I find make actually a big impact to the snappiness of your computer. And that is connected user experiences and telemetry. And once we've done this, we can then left click this startup type and then click disabled and then left click stop and then left click apply and then left click OK. And that's the first one done. Now we go down to this one, distributed link tracking client, left click properties. And then we go do the same thing, disabled, stop. And then we left click apply. OK. Now, after we've done that, we can close that tab down, left click on our search bar and just type in system and then left click that. And it should bring up a window which then shows our system specs, but we won't actually left click on advanced system settings to the left here. And this should bring up the performance box. We can left click on settings there and we can then just pretty much copy the settings I've got here with custom. What this will do is it'll just make windows look the same, but it'll make it a lot snappier and that windows will open faster, they'll close quicker and whatnot. Now, after we've done this, we can then move on to the startup and discovery tab. So here we want to left click time to display list of operating systems, take that off and then left click. OK, then we want to go up to system protection and then disable system protection. Uh, now, I've never used uh, Windows 10 or Windows 7 system protection before, so disabling it is just one of these things that I do to not only free up space on my drive, but also make things a little bit faster. Then the last thing I like to do as well is also left click this, allow remote assistance, take that off and then click OK. That's basically going to stop a lot of, uh, if, you get, if you're susceptible to getting scammed, for example, this is going to stop a lot of people from potentially scamming you too. And now that you've done those steps, your PC should be a bit quicker, especially if you're on an older Intel CPU. And since a lot of the PCs, especially if they're entry level or mid range PCs, include these older i5s and i7s, this is really making a difference for the PCs that I sell personally, where the people give me feedback and tell me how impressed they are with the price performance. Though speaking of the performance, we have here some before and after benchmarks. Now, this system here is basically a 720p gaming system, even though the monitor is technically 768p, meaning it's half the resolution of 1080p, and so it doesn't need as much power to power this resolution, making it great, again, for an entry level build. Though we'll pull up F1 2019, where we saw an average FPS before we did these uh, figures of 40 average FPS. And then after we went up to 43 average FPS. So that's roughly a boost of eight or 9% 
and the 0.1% and 1% lows were pretty similar. Though when we move over to Fortnite Chapter 2, we saw again a very similar trend here, going from 104 average FPS all the way up to 113. And you're probably thinking, well, that's just nine extra FPS. And well, it's 8% free performance that we really haven't done a whole lot for. We've just done a few uh, tweaks in Windows and it's, we're getting this extra performance. And now moving over to CSGO, uh, we then saw a FPS gain of roughly three FPS, going from 144 average FPS to 147. And this was done all in the apples, apples, apples scenario, meaning that we had the same benchmark going in the before and after scenarios, meaning the results are consistent, which is showing that these tweaks right here can make a difference to FPS numbers. Now, of course, if you're doing this on an older AMD system, you probably won't see the uh, same gains that we saw in this video here. And that's mainly because the Spectre and Meltdown updates, I've found they've affected the older Intel CPUs, where the majority of these performance gains is coming simply from that Inspector application that we opened before. Though you may be wondering, is there any drawbacks to today's tweaks? And the answer really deep down, I feel is no, because you can reverse them if you want to at any time. And basically all the tweaks that I do here on the channel, whether it's my full Windows 10 optimization tutorials or other tweaks that I do, I always make them so you can quickly reverse them if you aren't comfortable with the results. And so basically with the Spectre and Meltdown patches more specifically, they are meant to fix a security flaw in these older Intel CPUs. But for me personally, I've never heard of someone being exploited by these security patches and I haven't read any reports except only tests in theory. And apparently you need physical access to the machine in order to fully exploit these security flaws. So unless you're letting people from the public come into your computer, I would say you don't have a whole lot to worry about. Though back to the benefits, I also decided to test the before and after on startup times and we got 42 seconds versus 39 seconds. So we shaved three seconds off our boot times too. And another thing is in this video here today, we're using a GTX 560 Ti, which is a really dated card. So if we had a better graphics card on say for instance, an i7 4770 or a better CPU, we'd probably see even more differences in FPS than we saw here today. Anyway, with that aside, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button for us and let us know in the comment section below, do you have any quick tweaks or tips of your own for speeding up the Windows 10 OS? Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always, just like this question right here, which comes from Will Flanders and they ask, I dig that case, where can I grab them? And they're basically speaking about the Nimitz M5 that we did this build in. And this is a case that I got for 45 Aussie dollars at a retailer known as MSY. They stock this brand called Armageddon. And these cases, they come in with really good value for money. The only thing I would critique about this case personally is that I definitely added an exhaust fan, which is what we did in that video. As I've found in the past, if you don't add an exhaust fan in and you've got even remotely mid-range parts in the build, it can really heat things up in your computer, which of course can affect the lifespan of your computers. In terms of getting these cases international and in other parts of the world, I would have absolutely no idea because apparently the person who supplies these cases to Australia is a Singapore based company and they have a factory here in Australia. Anyway, hope that answers that question for you. And if you guys have stayed this far and you're enjoying that content and you're not yet subbed, then you know what to do. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.